Hello? 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 Hi. Hello? What's your name? Oh, that's my name too. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. John Jacob Jacob Hoversmith. That, that sounds like a train name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to Confusion and Delay. Where we've made no progress. The trains are all just as stupid as they were before. And will be again. Just as stupid. Slightly less stupid. Oh, no, it's another one of the narrow gauge ones with the world. No. His names. <laughs> oh, it's no. Maybe standard gauge. I, I we have, have this discussion so that many times. The really stupid names are narrow gauge. <laughs> That's just <laughs> how this works. He looks tiny! They're all tiny. With his friend look, how, look how big he is, though. He's massive. But, but Rusty's also One little. Right? Rusty is little. Rusty tells me you're in need of a change. So I want He's you to help Toby and me in the quarry. Oh, thank you, sir. What does that mean? Shall I be away long? No, no, I'll be away! What did you we snort, buddy? Like, Let me soon arrive. He's tiny. We're glad you're here to help us, no, said Toby. It's the same size. Are these my cars? Asked Stephanie. He's smushy, yeah. Only some of them. There's masses more in the sightings, replied Mavis. Mm. The more the merrier. I'm not mad at the Mavis voice, but I'm not. Stephanie was the really man. enjoying himself. So like, yeah, Mavis and Toby Mavis were impressed. Is still here. I mean, yeah. It's weird because then if the, the character disappears for a while, they'll like bring them back we and be like, oh, we have the character back, and then we won't see them ever again branch. for a while. And just continue on like, the train. Ooh, man, yes, he please. hit the contour hard. Do you <laughs> see the cuts on his nose? Thank you for a lovely day. You're welcome. Do hop up and come back Lovely day. So Stephanie is voiced by Dick Van Dyke. Got it. The trouble began. I feel like Fog they were discussing down. the budget for Mavis this was season, right. and they went Somebody to a buying fog machine. We're using it for every we're just yeah. We're gonna get our money's worth out of it. There's a signal box, called his driver. Yes, there's a train. Bye, the signal like... light is green. <gasps> they weren't expecting a small train. Area. Railroad question. Mm -hmm. Navigation. Do none of these people know what their the routes are supposed to look like? Well, Especially part of it was that they the fog film. clears. Everything looks different at night, uh, so all it those strange like... sounds, wondered Stephanie. Then the fog slowly lifted. Oh no! We're in the scrap Now! <laughs> oh god! Fireman went for help. It's like if you just accidentally wandered Stephanie into a board, bored. you're like. <laughs> but not for long. Two diesels approached. Oh, here's your new favorites. Proto's got Get you this dodge. time, Stephanie. You'll make very fine okay. scrap indeed. So, these, are, these are the ones with facial hair. Um, yeah. So, when they were transporting the models back from Toronto, because the they filmed the models the in Toronto, ship. so they built them in the UK and shipped them over, which was a stupid decision. Splatter and Dodge got lost on the way back, so they don't know if they got lost or repurposed into them. Bye bye. Nobody knows. Me. <laughs> They're just gone. And he looked up. Above him was a huge uh, grabber. Uh, this engine's not for scrapping. <laughs> the grabber wasn't listening. <laughs> it stopped. Oh, what a triumphant tone. It's a good thing I'm visiting this yard tonight. Why? Why are you here? Now, Stephanie, please Just stop. Visiting. That is the most yes, sir. convenient well, timing in the history of bad plot. There's no place like home. And that's exactly where you're going now. Where the f*** are eyebrows? Blue <laughs> guns forever. Burned off from the stress. Great yard. Okay, okay. So, um, I remember... In high school English, when my English teacher explained the Deus Ex Machina to us, as sometimes Greek scriptwriters would get their characters to a point, but they couldn't get them out, and they were and they had a time limit, and literally they would have somebody on a pulley system, they would lower and be like, "Oh my God, you're fixed," and they'd pull them back up. That top of Ex Machina. Top of Ex Machina. 
Yep. There's no reason for him to have been visiting a scrapyard in the middle of the night. And like, if there was, fine, whatever, but we need that explanation. Like, like does he just show up? Just like, like a really bad case of insomnia. Let me call up like <laughs> 20 of my employees and we're gonna go out on a team building exercise to go look at some like, at, like dead, dead trains. <laughs> this is how bros bond. I mean, I'm a, I'm a girl. I don't understand male bonding. So I didn't know that you just call up 20 of your employees and go hang out in a scrapyard. I call up 20 of my employees and we go hang out at karaoke bars. So <laughs> very different. That's an English thing. Going to look at dead karaoke, trains. Um, melted trains, <laughs> equivalents. Why is Sir Topham Hat? convenient plot device why please answer below also make sure you like share and subscribe and put this upon your family